Welcome back everyone, Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're going to be working on the Armor Craft quest, the very last one, well, until I level up some more. And this one is going to be the level 50 quest. So, oh yeah, this Armor Craft is outside. So we've won one round, we've lost one round, and this round is going to be our final judging round. So, Hazana. Rivalry and Respect. Forge Master Hazana wishes to speak with you regarding Blanistry's final challenge. We're going to take the boots, like usual. So let's begin it. I must thank you again, Tickman, for sacrificing your time and effort to help your guild with that order from the Maelstrom. It behooves us not to fall clients, or it behooves us not to fail clients such as they, no matter the reason, but as is our fate, we are rarely afforded a respite from the flames of the forge. I have received a recently see, recently been informed that Admiral Merriweb will be inspecting various organizations our own Armorers Guild included, and their roles in promoting Limelosa's trade with the East. The impressions made during the inspection will have a direct influence on whom the Maelstrom chooses as the provider of its equipment and other sturdy supplies. Lanstry, in his usual arrogant manner, has proposed that we seize this opportunity to have the Admiral herself serve as an arbiter for the final round of your contest. Oh, imagine how that bastard could crow if you were to suffer defeat before the commander of Limelos's Grand Company. The credence, the credence such a public failure lend to his argument would spell the end of the guild as we know it. You must not allow this to come to pass. Success in the third and final challenge Hands on your ability to forge what might need to be the most exquisite cobalt herberin in the realm. And, as you'd expect, it's one of the more demanding pieces of armor a student of our discipline can attempt. While I harbor not the slightest doubt that you will produce a herberg of surpassing quality, let us tip the scales in your favor by augmenting it with a material. A heaven's eye material of the third grade should do the trick. Once your armor is complete, deliver it to Sergeant Zonberg at Hawkins. Harker's round, and he will see it passed along to the Admiral. Very well. I have it already crafted, like usual. There it is. Well, let's go turn this bad boy on in. We need to go to the lower decks. Now let's go ahead and drop this bad boy off for inspection. So we can get our new hand. There he is. Sign Burke. He's a red coat. Take my poker. Ah, uh, you have a cobot Hubert for me then? It would not do to keep the Admiral Mayhip waiting. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Consider your submission accepted. I think you enjoy the Admiral's uh methods of appraisal. Oh, here we go. There she is. Tick man, Lancer. This is the final round of your contest. We'll decide the victory or defeat. May the best armorer win.
Admiral, who are these gentlemen? Why, where are the mannequins? <laughs> I found little can be learned from inspecting lifeless models, so I've decided to take a different tact. My men here will wield your armorer's submissions instead. Ah, very neat. I see. Do you intend to take on varying poses for your inspection? In a manner of speaking, we wish to determine the quality of the armor. Do we not? I prefer a direct approach. Uh-oh. God's regard. What kind of appraisals is this? They're tearing them up. You really that surprised, Senna? No final way to test your gear than in the heat of battle. Using flesh and blood warriors is hardly necessary. Okay. What of the risk of injury? My armor was built to withstand far worse, worse than this. If those blokes get hurt by them oversized hatchets, then I ain't got no business being here. You agree on that score, don't you, Tick Man? Sure. Well, well, it appears your claims to excellence are more than empty boast. Let's raise the stake, shall we? Uh-oh, this is getting interesting. Whoa, she just shot both of them. Admiral, you go too far. Such ex expensive equipment is of little use to us if it cannot stop a bullet. Unless you think me reckless, my men were never in any real danger. I quite carefully inspected the sturdiness of both her guns before we begun. You are not the only one with an eye for quality, dear Forge Master. In any case, it appears we have a winner. Oh. I don't. I don't believe it. The shot punched through me links. What's so dead and different between your armor and mine? Perhaps the reason you cannot answer that question, armor, is the reason you just lost your to your colleague. I bloody hells. This was most educational and entertaining experience. When the Maelstrom next finds itself in need of replacement equipment, I believe I know just a sort of armor to whom we shall turn. Look, that guy left in the way. He's been shot. Congratulations, Tick Man. It was a close contest, but you. You've struck a telling blow here today, nonetheless. The question is, does Blancer yet realize his folly? It would be best for you to seek him out to learn where we now stand. Poor Blancy. I'm guessing he's back up on the upper decks. Where he always is. So let's head on up there. 
Oh, that, that guy got a big old stove. He's cooking it up. I have not messed with the culinary yet. As you see, it's level 19. But that'll be the next one I get up to level 50. Okay, let's head up to the Aft Castle. south and he's usually down here to the right yep he's still there so let's see if he's pouting he is close to the edge hope he doesn't jump come to see me beaten and broken have you you made a bloody fool out of me but I I made a fool out of myself I was just too thick-headed stubborn to see it coming Reckon I ought to steer clear or give business for a time. Give me some distance to think on all of this. But you tell that harpy Hazana that she better not let this place fall to pieces. I'll still be watching. Um, better if you'd share your knowledge and help people to stay away. But if that's what you want to do. We're trying to run people off. Talk to them. I very like Blancer to have the last word. At least now he seems to have grasped the idea that this way, that his way is not the absolute, as he believed. After all, the greatest source of innovation is found in our connection with others. For instance, did you know that Gvold was the original pro uniclation of cobalt? I did not know that. It was thought it was through trade with those beastmen miners that we first encountered and subsequently refined the use of cobalt ore. Without such contact, it is unlikely that the armor you forged for the last round of your contest would ever exist today. There's only so much an armor can achieve on his own. It is mutual respect and the healthy dose of friendly rivalry that truly spurs the improvement of the craft. The standard's gravest mistake was to see his rivals as enemies by walling himself off from his peers. He denied himself the knowledge of techniques which you were grateful enough to receive. His defeat was inevitable. And it was your determination and skill that taught him the dangers of stagnation. You embody everything I stand for, Tick Man, and the guild is richer for your presence. Thank you very much. Give me them boots. And this concludes the armor quest for Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest before the dawn. Once you have done so, the next armor quest will be available from Hazana. Alright, let's get somewhere where we can check out our new digs at. So there's our old boots. And there's our old hammer. It's like a sledge. And there we go. New boots, new hammer. Oh, look at that fancy thing. That's what I'm talking about. And the boots are under my legs now. Awesome. So what happens if we take them off? Oh, the short boots. That's cool. All right, well, that wraps this up. Thanks for joining me. My name's Tick. And we're back another day with another quest. We're going to hit up the alchemy line next. I've got all them done up to 50. So, we'll see you there.